So right now I'm taking you guys to Ibar. This is a little optometry practice nestled in the River Oaks area, owned by my friend Sheena Garner. Just to take you guys back, so I talked to you about how we got Sphere, walked you through Dynamo Stadium, um, and just kind of a little bit of the, the background of you know my story of how you know Sphere really started. And after I went to New York, explored that boutique fitness market, I went to Hawaii, which I'll save that for another YouTube video because it's worth a story in itself. Um, you know, I came back, and when I came back, I mean, the reason I moved back from uh, when I was playing in DC, I came back to Houston because I knew I was going to be transitioning, played one more season, but I really worked on reconnecting and integrate, reintegrating myself into the community in Houston because I had such a good network. Um, I met Sheena, and Sheena Garner is a, a wonderful, lovely optometrist, and she was opening up this new practice here in River Oaks. At the time, she was really interested in networking, meeting some new people, and she's like, hey, I'd love to work with you, have you come on board, market the business, do some social media, and I'd love for you to just be at the facility just to watch the, the construction just to make sure everything's good, and I'm like, yeah, no problem, let's do it. So we worked out a little agreement, and you know, this practice was literally being built, and at the same time, that's when I asked her if I could use the back parking lot for like private training sessions. Because I mean, as, a, as an athlete, unfortunately, that's like one of the easiest ways just to make money. So, um, so let's go check it out. All right guys, so here we are at Ibar, again in River Oaks. This is where uh, Sphere kicked off. This is our first pitch. Uh, crazy that, you know, seven years ago, out of all the fields and places that we could have played, this is where everything started. Uh, Chong Wee, he was the uh, founder of Francesca's. You know, I asked him, I was like, hey, I've got this idea. You know, what do you think I should do? And he's like, grab some balls and cones, throw them down, bring some friends, and if people like it, keep doing it. And I literally did just exactly that. Grab some friends, said, hey, I want to do a, uh, a soccer fitness class. Would you guys like to join me? Had four or five people come and join me. And from that moment, haven't looked back. But I'm also super proud that we were able to create a concept literally from dirt, from cement, from this asphalt, from this little parking lot. We used to put these little goals over here. We had players over there in the corner doing burpees and push-ups. We had the balls here lined up. And you know, we were running classes like it was like a fitness studio, but just here in the back of an optometry practice, which just didn't make any sense, right? <laughs> But what I didn't mention was that I was broke, I was depressed, I was struggling like significantly with my own identity and what I was gonna be doing. And you go from you know, this professional athlete and then all of a sudden you have nothing. Now, I've always been Mike Chabala, the professional soccer player, not Mike Chabala, the... So in that whole process, I didn't have a place to live and I had no money. I'm driving a BMW, I could barely put gas in my car. Uh, fortunately, with my time with Sheena, you know, knowing my situation, she said, why don't you just, you know, stay here? Nobody's here. You know, you can come and go as you please. I trust you. So I did just exactly that. I lived upstairs. There was really nothing there at the time. Um, and actually, that's a lie. Sometimes I, I slept on the couch downstairs. But upstairs, I would go and grab a bottle of wine, and I would put out these big, massive yellow post-it notes, and I would start going to work on designing the idea of the classes, the concept, play a great game, to online power, to outdoor club practices, um, you know, you name it, I was creating it. And that really started to, you know, build momentum for the concept as we kept running classes here over the, over the course of a year. All right, here we are. We're inside of Ibar right now. Let me tell you, she's done an amazing job with the place. It didn't look like this when we first got started. When everybody would leave, I would pull up, drive in the back, park my car, let myself in, and this was home. Home and the office. This couch, for those that don't know, I'm sorry, Sheena, but I used to lay right here, grab my little blanket. <sighs> mm. Do you know that I slept here? No, I didn't. You didn't know that? See, nobody knew that. This was home right here. This is my couch. Bah. When I got started, none of these walls were here. No nothing. Well, this major one was. 
So I would, first off, all my clothes are right here, bang. And then this was where I put up all my yellow post-it notes, right here. And I just started going to work. I sit here with my wine, headphones in, one, two in the morning, just creating, 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 creating. It was just everything was just coming through. It was just channeling this idea, this concept about bringing people together through um, soccer and fitness and creating a community that didn't exist. Pretty amazing. Guys, so I walked you through Ibar, where we started. Uh, the, old, the original idea was to create this lights down, music up concept, this, you know, facility that competed with the Barry's boot camps and the soul cycles of the world, this electric soccer experience that didn't exist. The problem was I had no money and was far, far away from that. And the other problem was that, you know, Ibar was picking up with business. Our, the neighbors were getting really upset with the music and the extra traffic and we had to find a new place to play. So transitioning into what's next is how Club actually got started, our outdoor programming. And before I take you there, I think what's really important to, 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 to walk back as an entrepreneur is you know, having this idea in the future that nobody can see and working tirelessly and, and relentlessly towards and being absolutely confident in yourself and in your dream of where you're going. So, thank you.